question there are athletes that have broke world records and won Olympic gold medals on and the net done it naturally uh, absolutely that can happen but those are freaks they're genetic freaks there's no, not no that many question. of them there's not that many of them and then there's guys like Armstrong that might be a freak and it looks like he was doing something like then they say Armstrong Lance Armstrong has an abnormally large heart you know like he processes blood better than the average person does just naturally and genetically yeah, but it's like Usain Bolt, and he's got all these gifts. But, uh -huh. you know, my I'm highly suspicious that not only he's on drugs, but uh, most of the track athletes that are on the, the Jamaican island are on drugs. What are they on, if you had to guess? If I had to guess, seven or eight different drugs. Uh, my sense is that, um, well, let me back up and put this in perspective. Have you heard the name Memo Heredia? No. Memo, Memo is his nickname. It's, it's actually Angel Heredia. In the Balco case, this is the guy. There were two people that were at the very top of the food chain. Angel was one of them. He was a discus thrower from, uh, from Texas A&M, and he was the supplier for Trevor Graham and Marion Jones and Tim Montgomery and the Sprint Capital Group that was in Raleigh, North Carolina that uh, won a whole bunch of Olympic gold medals and, and so on. They ended up indicting Trevor, Marion's coach, uh, for lying to a federal agent. This guy came and testified against uh, Trevor, and he got leniency in exchange for that. So he never got any consequence whatsoever. He was the guy making all the money. He was at the top of the food chain. He was the main dealer. Well. He now works with Juan Manuel Marquez, who's fighting Manny Pacquiao next. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. People were very suspicious. He changed his name, if you remember, all of a sudden. Uh -huh. And I'm the one that saw him on HBO 24-7. I said, oh, my God, that's Memo. And, it, and he, his real name is Heredia. And all of a sudden, it was Angel Hernandez. So he changed his name and thought nobody would recognize him. And of course, and so the the word is in so the streets. So you threw him under the bus. <laughs> are, is that he's working with the Jamaican athletes? He he's um, he's said as much in in UK interviews. And I know somebody who saw him after Usain Bolt uh, ran uh, 969 and did everything they did in in. Beijing at the Olympics, at the World Championships the following year. So the uh, point well, is... Is it possible that this guy is just doing it legally now? And that's why no, none of his people are testing positive? Juan Manuel Marquez? <laughs> no, impossible? No, because You're they laughing? don't have any testing. What testing is Juan Manuel Marquez doing? I, well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, is, didn't he get tested in Vegas? Well... That's about tapering off and, and just, you know, you have to be dumb. That's IQ testing. That's not drug testing. I see. So um, these, but these Olympic athletes, they're all tested, correct? Well, even that's relatively easy to circumvent. How's that? Well, let's just, okay, let me explain exactly how you can beat the sure. testing. Sure. Let's pretend I'm Hussein Bolt. Ta -ta -ta, okay. Fucking awesome. I okay. just won the Olympics. Okay. What do you got to do now? Here, here's the way blood? it works. Here's the way it works.